The one simple thing all my YouTube videos have in common is they all have music. From my very first upload, to my latest drone video, right up to my most recent Q&A video. Music is just an absolutely essential ingredient to any video. It can drive the story, it sets the mood, and it can also affect emotions. And sometimes it's more subtle than that and it just kind of floats in the background adding some depth to the visuals. In the case of my drone videos, music helps drive the story I'm trying to tell. It sets the mood for what I want the viewer to feel when they see the footage. You know, sad and moody music to match a cloudy autumn day, or something upbeat and energetic for the peak of summer. For talking head videos, music is a great way to break up the monotony of listening to me ramble on and on about white balance, some new drone feature, or whatever. It helps to hold interest in an otherwise not so exciting video. Regardless of how you incorporate music into your videos, I think we can all agree that music is just an essential piece of the filmmaking puzzle. Since starting my YouTube channel just over three years ago, most of the music for my videos has come from the YouTube audio library. And if you're just getting started on YouTube, you know what? It's just a really great resource. Of course though, being free, it does have its limitations. The quality can vary quite a bit, the catalog of good music is not very deep, and as you would expect, the music is licensed only for your YouTube projects. It can also be really time consuming finding just the perfect track, and many times I just gave up and defaulted to some of my old favorites. So to get my music mojo back on track, I have recently partnered up with Artlist and I am really excited about it. So today I want to share some quick first impressions with you and why I think Artlist is a great choice for royalty free music for your videos. Artlist offers a simple subscription model, $1.99 per year for unlimited music or $2.99 per year for unlimited music and sound effects. So that's about $16.60 or $25 per month respectively. Now, these are royalty-free tracks and sound effects, so that means there are no additional fees, no hidden costs, no extra charges based on your usage or YouTube subscribers, nothing. It's just one simple annual flat fee, and honestly, I really like that. Artlist has made their licensing model very, very simple, and it covers everything you could possibly need as a creator. An Artlist subscription gives you unlimited, worldwide, royalty-free use for both your personal and commercial projects. Now, that's a really big deal to be able to use it commercially too. So you're not just limited to YouTube. Music and sound effects can be used for TV, video games, commercials, Facebook, Instagram, podcasts, just whatever you can think of, you're already covered by one license. And not only that, once you download a song or a sound effect with a paid subscription, it's licensed to you to use forever. Like, that is just freaking amazing. Okay, so I haven't used Artlist for very long, so I don't feel totally comfortable saying, oh yeah, their catalog is humongous and all their music is awesome. But what I can share is my first experience. My last video was my first one using Artlist for music. It was a 13 minute Q&A video with mostly me talking, so yeah, I definitely needed some background music to keep things a bit more interesting. Now, I was working away furiously, just trying to get the video out the door, so I text my wife, Jen, and I ask her if she could find me some music on Artlist. So Jen's on board, I send her the link to Artlist, and I ask her to find me, you know, something upbeat and happy. I need a bunch of songs to cover, say 10 to 12 minutes of video. Now, I swear it's under 10 minutes later, she comes back with these 12 great songs, and honestly, I could not believe how quickly she found so much good music. Now, I use five of those 12 in the video and I save the rest of them to my Artlist library so I could use them for another project. So yeah, right off the bat, I am totally impressed. Now, Artlist says that they seek out quality, independent artists from around the globe and curate that music so creators like me and you can find quality tracks for their projects quickly and easily. Well, my first experience certainly bears that out and on subsequent passes through their catalog of music, it definitely feels like it has a lot of depth. So I'm quite excited to bring a greater variety and a better quality of music to my project. 
As we all know, finding good music is tough enough, but finding the right track can be a super time consuming process. Now, this may seem silly, but being able to see the whole waveform of a song can really help identify potential tracks quicker. Seeing the waveform allows you to get a sense of the beat, you can see how the music builds to a crescendo, and it makes, you know, it makes it easy to jump to a section that could be of interest if you just want a little piece of that track. And the more you look at the waveforms, the more you can start to be able to identify and isolate tracks that you may like. So it may seem like a silly or simple thing, but being able to see that waveform is a nice feature and it just helps speed up the process of finding the perfect track. Artlist has a very simple but powerful interface for finding music quickly. You can browse by mood, video theme, genre, instrument, or any combination of those. It's easy to keep narrowing down your search by adding and removing search elements with just a single click. You can even further refine your results by sorting by staff picks, top downloads, or the newest tracks. You can also search by tempo and duration. So there's just an absolute ton of power there to do fast, effective searches. Artlist also has this great spotlight section with even more deeply curated collections. You can find music from some of your favorite YouTubers, theme packs, artists, albums, and featured videos. So there's plenty of stuff in there to help you grab some great tracks or get some inspiration for your next big project. And that's it for this one, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. And if Artlist is something you're interested in, I put a link in the description. And if you use that link, you'll get a couple of extra months for free when you sign up for a year of music from Artlist. And as always, thanks so much for watching. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>